Hey guys, it is Lego Maestro here, and welcome back to another episode of Hypixel Alert. Now guys, just before we start the episode, I wanted to really quickly announce the giveaway I am doing with KZ, who we will definitely be talking about later in the episode, but all that info is in the description. We're giving away three rank upgrades and a booster, so if you're interested in that, feel free to hit the description. Of course, KZ is starting up a Twitch channel, so feel free to follow him there. But guys, our first story today is actually one that, well... Some of you may be really excited or really mad to hear about it, and this one is coming from a upcoming YouTuber. I'm a squid kid. Yeah, you heard me correct. I called him a YouTuber because, well, for those that don't know who he is, Technoblade made a video a couple of weeks ago called The Great Potato War. And in this video, Technoblade basically went over his quest and his entire challenge to reach the number one potato rank on Skyblock. And, well, the person who had that place was I'm a squid kid. And, of course, he made this video. It went viral like most videos of his do. And Squid Kid actually made a video on it himself, titled The Whitelisted Mystery, getting a ton of views. And well, a little time after this, he actually made a second video, and this one was about Skyblock, but it was not related to Technoblade or the potato or anything like that. This video also happened to do pretty well, and it sent him, ladies and gentlemen, over 30,000 subscribers. That is right, the man now qualifies for YouTube rank. And just in case you were wondering, before this entire thing started, he had 67 subscribers. He was working on his 100 subscriber milestone and before he knew it, he would be working on his 30,000 subscriber milestone in the span of two weeks. Man, the last time I saw somebody grow this fast was when Pigtoots made the I Am Stone Challenge. Oh goodness, you guys, let me know what you think of this down in the comments. Obviously, he's going to get a ton of hate just because he got the rank so quick. But yeah, I must say, he did make some pretty well-made videos, so it wasn't like he just jumped into the spotlight and didn't really do anything for it. But I don't know. That's all controversial. Let me know what you guys think once again in the comment section below. All right, guys, before we get into our next story, you've probably heard me say this before, but I just wanted to let you know that approximately right now, 57% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So, of course, if you want to stay up to date on everything happening in the Hypixel network, then I would highly recommend and appreciate appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And with that, let's get back to the news. But on to our next story, guys. Hackers, 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 they're everywhere. If you've played Skywars in the last week or two, you'll see bee hoppers, people kill Aura. They've even got Clyde. I mean, it's just, it's awful. And well, Hypixel noticed all of this bee hopping, all of this stuff going on, and he tweeted out this, saying, I'll be opening a lot of job positions early 2020 for the Hypixel MC server to support more updates, anti-cheat improvements, new features, and much more. I mean, the server went from 25k peak to 90k, and we didn't grow the team. It's been quite challenging. In the short term, we will be posting a few critical roles, especially in the anti-cheat and legal department, as we are seeing more and more hack clients are becoming growing businesses that focus entirely on our server. Wow, this is some exciting news. If you're hackers out there, you better stop quick, because Hypixel is coming after you, and it sounds like they're not just doing anti-cheat stuff. You heard it here. They're getting legal with this. It is possible that in the future, we could be seeing court cases where people are literally there for bee hopping on Hypixel. Especially for large hacker groups. I know there were groups in the past that were made just to hack on Hypixel and those groups could get taken to court. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into this, but again, illegal implications it means business. And of course, you guys, I will keep you updated on everything happening with this story on the anti-cheat developments and everything else. Crypt Keeper, keep up the good work, man, on Watchdog. Still a fantastic anti-cheat, even though people are trying to get around it right now. But yeah, I gotta say, exciting, exciting stuff. And also in this week's news, a new YouTube event, well, it started up called SMP Earth. Yeah, if you've heard about it in the last week, it's probably because one of your favorite YouTubers is in it. And the idea behind SMP Earth is that it is the entire world, the whole globe, in a 3,000 to 1 scale. So it's super, like, compacted, but it's in Minecraft. And well, here's the trailer for that. Roll it.
must say it looks like a pretty fantastic event. Definitely an exciting premise, but there are, as you saw, 60 YouTubers, and they're not small creators either. They've got huge people in there, like Captain Sparkles, Tommy Innit, Technoblade, Poke, some big names, and they're in the event. And of course, along with any SMP, there's always some fantastic moments to go along with it. So here are a couple of clips that are honestly pretty fantastic. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy. Earth SMP. Earth SMP is a live streamed survival multiplayer server with all of your favorite content creators and also Tommy. Hi. I can't leave the server for five minutes without someone taking my island. Ryan, his so, cat is moving so fast on Minecraft that he can't even He's so like, much. God. Pete, Pete, you absolute boomer. Yeah. He's claiming so much. I just claimed half the planet. <laughs> I know. It's a gift. <laughs> Techno will be so proud. <laughs> Oh, funny, funny stuff. Looks like a great event. But now, you guys, it's time to get into a little bit more of a sad story this evening. And, of course, you already know by the title, we're talking about KZ. A YouTuber's worst nightmare is personal information getting leaked. And that is exactly what almost happened to KZ. And, well, he tweeted out this. So my computer has just been hacked slash controlled remotely. They started opening up a couple weird programs, which I quickly closed and then typed in, you have three before I shut down my computer and unplugged ethernet. I have no viruses and can't think of a time where my IP was leaked. Update, I was very lucky and the attacker for some reason did not want to damage anything of mine intentionally. It was definitely a rat and I have changed all passwords and I'm currently factory resetting everything. All should be okay, but it was a very scary experience. Man, that is some scary Scary, scary stuff. Obviously, this was a very unfortunate experience, and of course, very serious as well. This person had access to a lot of stuff with KZ, not just his Minecraft accounts or his Twitter. He had his whole computer, but thankfully, the hacker did not take or do anything. I mean, this scenario could have gone really downhill really fast. Now, KZ did say he factory reset his computer, which for those that don't know, it means he reset all of his files, like everything on his computer was deleted. I hope he has some backups or something. I mean, that's a little extreme in my opinion. I don't know. But uh, Casey, man, I'm glad this scenario was over. And of course, it is unrelated to the giveaway we are doing, just to clear that up. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got one final story to end off the news. And it's going to be one you're either really excited to hear or really sad to hear about. And well, this one is about Minecraft Monday. About a week ago, a player tweeted saying, Yo, at Keemstar, I know you won't even bother looking at it, but when will Minecraft Monday be back from hiatus? I had hopes from these new Minecraft Saturday and Champions, but none is close to being that good. To which Keemstar responded, Just waiting for more people to ask for it back. I started to feel like no one appreciated all the work I did that was going into it. Clearly some did, but not everyone. So you heard it there, it looks like Minecraft Monday right now is pivoting on whether people want it back or not. And as of right now, Minecraft Championships and especially everyone's favorite, Minecraft Saturday are dominating. So as long as those two exist, I'm not sure how many people are going to be dying for Minecraft Monday to come back. Not to mention, Keemstar being the host was very controversial, to say the least. So what do you guys think? Do you want Keemstar as the host, or do you want Pika Clicks? Do you like Minecraft Monday better, or Minecraft Saturdays? Let me know in the comments below. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for the news this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, and you want to stay up to date on everything happening in the Hypixel network, then of course, you want to subscribe to the Hypixel Alert channel with those notifications on. I'll be your host, Lego Maestro, keeping you informed on what's going on. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hypixel Alert now over 72.7 thousand subscribers. Have a blessed day, and I will see you next time.